Welcome back to another Ad Daily News. Today, I want to talk about the NHL power play. A great team have a great power play. And then I have a mock trade proposal for the Montreal Canadiens. Stay until to the end of the video because you're going to find out uh, is it possible can use trade for that players. Uh, let's have been talking about the first subject of the day. First of all, the best team in the NHL have a great power play. What I did, I give you guys fourth fan team. We got Colorado, Tampa, Rangers, and Edmonton. This is the players play the most on the power play number unit number one. Colorado, Mekinen, Ratanen, Drouin. Now, they use sometimes Nikoshkin or Likonen, and they have the defenseman, Kel Mekar. Tempa, Point, Kushera, Paul, Sankos, Edmund, Rangers, Zibanejad, Penarin, Grader, Trotschek, Fox, Edmonton, McDavid, Tresador, RNH, Iman, and Bouchard. But coach, what they have in common? First of all, each team have at least a player over 100 points this year. Secondly, all the defensemen you see there, they are on the top best defensemen with the most points in NHL. All of them have a great one-timer shot. Not necessarily a slap shot. It could be a great release one-timer shot. Then they have a great playmaker. They have at least one or two players can pass the puck to make great play. Then the entry zone, they have players with speed, a second link, and carry on the puck from the defensive zone all the way to offensive zone. What they have also in common, they have finisher. When I'm talking about finisher, it's about accuracy. And this comes with the, the shot percentage on the net. The forward, most of them, they are at 12% a plus. And the defensemen are at 7.5 a plus. Mekar is at 12.4. Mekar, Edmund, Bouchard are bomb. They have an amazing great slap shot. Fox is a little bit above average, but Edmund, Mekar, and Bouchard have excellent great slap shot from the point. If you look about their personnel of the players compared to Montreal Canadiens, this is the reason why those teams are on the top of the best team in NHL in the season 2023-2024. Now, let's compare those teams with the Montreal Canadiens. Here, the personnel of Montreal Canadiens and power play. Unit number one, Zuzki, Kafir, Sakaski. Now, they use New Hook. Because Manian is not there anymore. Finally, the defenseman is Mike Madison. If you look about the last three seasons on the power play, they have some kind of uh, improvement. They still below compared to any other team in NHL. 17.5, 16.1, 13.7. Now, if you look about what they don't have compared the team have a great power play, but they don't have, first of all, 100 points. But now you're going to tell me, oh, but coach, Carolina have no 100 points, and they are one of the best power play in NHL. Yes, you are right, but still, the personnel of the player compared to Montreal is so much better on skill and talent. Then, Madison is a top nine most points as a defenseman. They have average one-timer shot. Then, they have a difficulty on the entering zone, pass the puck on the flanker. And this is a big problem to set up their power play on the offensive side. Yes, they have good feet, second lead by Nick Zuski, example, but still, when they pass the puck on the flanker, they struggled to set up their play. Then, no slap shot, like I mentioned, for Mike Madison at the point. Madison contributes good overall but not good enough to carry on that power play on the top best team in NHL. Finally, they don't have enough finisher. The accuracy order the Nick Zuzki, the rest is not very good. Mike Madison, one of the worst finisher with only 5.7% shooting goal this year. This is really low compared to other defensemen like Edmund, McCall, Fox in NHL. Finally, Carfield at 8.8. .8 supposed to be the one-timer shot shooter or the one scoring the most goal on the power play at 8.8 .8, that's not good enough if that's the biggest problem for montreal canadian so what is the fixer coach 
But for me, they will need to have a better defenseman with an amazing great slap shot. Secondly, better entry zone for the flanker pass. Thirdly, better accuracy to have more chance to score the goal join a power play. Put this all together, guys. That's the reason Montreal are 25th, 26th, and 29th in the sending power play in the last couple of years. That's what we got, guys, on the power play on the, this episode. And let's finish with my ab mod draft proposal. First of all, Montreal Canadiens are looking to add another forward. They will try to get top six, but at least a top nine that will satisfy for the upcoming season 2024-2025. They can accomplish that in two ways, UFA or by trade. I feel Montreal Canadiens are going to take a risk this year to get a players from other teams. Now, I want to talk about Capo Caco today. Why? Because I think it could be a good fit for the Montreal Canadiens, but you don't know yet what it would be my trade, so you have to stay all the way to the end of the video. Now, what I did, I look about other players struggle draft at the top five in NHL. And I find out Jesse Poljujavi, born in Sweden, but he had two nationalities, Sweden and Finland, and compared to Kako. Why? Because first of all, there was draft four overall pick, Poljujavi. Kako it was draft second overall pick. One is 6'4", another one is 6'2". Both of them are not physical. Poljujavi is a right winger and Kako is a left winger play on the right side. Bill got traded five years later after he got drafted by the Edmonton Oilers. A Kako play his fifth year this year in NHL. The stat for the best season so far for Bill is 15 goals in one year at 36 points. Kako is at 18 goals at 40 points happening in 2022-2023. The Edmonton said after five years that's enough. Trade Jesse Prodjujavi to the cabinet and return for Patrick Questella. Never played yet in NHL at 23 years old. Now, like I mentioned at the beginning, Montreal could take a risky move during the offseason. I don't know. My feeling is Montreal are going to wait one more year. I could be wrong. And I feel like Montreal could go with a risky move. It could be a UFA like Anthony Bouvillier for a one-year contract at $1 million. For me today, it's more about the risk to go by trade. Remember, Jeff Gordon draft Cal Pope second overall pick. It's a big winger, 6'2", but no physical, like I mentioned to you. Can play on the, on the left side or on the right side as a winger, but his accuracy percentage shot is excellent at 14.4 in the last two seasons. This is really important stat about Calpo, now, what the Rangers need, first of all, Calpo is RFA. He has a minimum at $2.1 million. Don't be surprised, he signed maybe at $2.3, $2.5 million for one year with the New York Rangers, or maybe two years. The New York Rangers need left defensemen. They don't have any prospect other Jones now at 23 years old as a left defenseman. And my trade today, I'm going to shock you. I feel the Montreal Canadian could trade Jaden Straubel. Plus a third round pick at 2025 for Calpo. What? That's it, that's all. Yes, that's it, that's all, my friend. Jaden Strouble have a better value of what you think he has. I feel like Strouble is going to bring stability, consistency, is physical, and he play with Schneider. He has some kind of upside on the offensive side too. If you put this together, I think it could be a solid third pairing. And the fact the Rangers doesn't want to spend too much money on Calpo, over $2 million, I think that would be a good fit for both organizations. Montreal could sign him for one or two years, take a risk. They're only losing J.D. Straubel. Montreal have Engstrom now, Hudson, Madison, Harris, Jekai, Cooley. They are good enough. Yes, I mentioned to you, is a risk, but... Losing Jaden Straubel with all the defensemen they have, I believe Capo could become a scorer of 20 goals under Martin Saint-Louis. Eh, I know, you're going to tell me, coach, you're completely wrong. Guys, this is only a mock trade proposal, entertaining discussion between you and me. 
and leave me a comment tell me what you think about that proposal and that's complete all the subject we have on this episode thanks for watching another app daily news and don't forget to click on the like subscribe and leave me a comment about this video and of course remember you have greatness inside of you and we wish you an amazing great blessed day everybody